Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Maximize Pick Lumen AI, a limited flex AI integration explained. And right here, I'm currently inside Pick Lumen. By the way, guys, I have already made a video about this one, a very comprehensive video, so please check it out. Now, I'm relaunching this one, or rather re-explaining it, or creating a video about Pick Lumen, because there is going to be a new AI here. Now, let's get inside this one, and I'll tell you what it is. Now to get inside, simply click on launch up right there or get generate for free. I'll see you once inside. So welcome back to the video. Now before we get started, I just want to let you know that you can really use Piclumen for free. Right now, there is no paid subscription. And rather, you can use this with no account. However, I just logged into my Domi Google account to fully utilize my previous creations. Now before we get started with this one, um, I already told you I've created this one, so these are my previous examples. As you can see right there, that is going to be an awesome dog, right? However, if I go in create and then if I click on the models here, we're going to have flux now. That is going to be the idea of this video. We're going to utilize unlimited flux inside Pick Lumen for free. So I have already created a sample here as this one right there. I'll take note that is going to be a woman wearing a karate dress standing inside a dojo using Pick Lumen Realistic Version 2. Now, why did I put this up why am i using or showing this to you guys because if i open up my um folder here i open this one up this is gonna be the reference image i used to create this photo pretty awesome right now let's get started with this one i'll show you how to generate your own images let's start first with big lumen realistic and then later we're gonna talk about flux now so basically as any different AI generation you just simply um enable your prompt if I open this up, I select my image, I can now choose based on my content, style, or character references. So what is the difference between the three? Character references is the one I used from the previous video, or rather, previous photo, the one the karate. It copied the woman inside it. For style reference, it's going to be copying the style. Content is basically what's happening in the photo. So the most famous ones to be character reference, and the most perfect based on my um, usage or experience, is 0.6. Now that will be by your own preference if you want to go 0.5 or 0.7. That would be on your end. However, for me, as I just also, 0.6 is perfect. So with this one, I'm going to type in a woman right now wearing a black riding, or let's just say motorcycle, motorcycle jacket. Let's just go with this one standing inside a let's just go for or let's go for standing in a park something like that now before i click on enter i can choose how many images i'm gonna go for three now there is gonna be a prompt enhance so improve image quality by extending your prompt let me just copy this one now if i click right now let me just remove this the grammarly logo so if i click on this one right now it's currently expanding making sure my prompt is better and there is going to be the expanded version for this one this is auto translate if you're having a different language if you're typing for example chinese vietnamese or the works piclumini i can really detect it now for this settings right here you can answer your negative prompt of course cfg scales taps everything here will remain by default on my end you can change it if you want now for the aspect ratio, I'm going to go for 1x1. One one. You can go for 9x16, the most famous one, I think. And basically, with that being said, I'm going to click on generate. I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Now the best part about this one, it only took roughly around 10 to 20 seconds to generate those three images. By the way, these are the three images we have. And with this being said, this is going to be the reference. And you have it at your end right here. Compare it with this one. Pretty awesome, right? Pretty unique, pretty consistent. Now let me just tackle this one. I think I'm gonna use the first one right here as a sample. Now with this one, you can directly copy the prompt with that being said, and then you can download the photo with this one, and it will not go to the computer with no problem at all under PNG. We also have remix, we have remove background, we have upscale, we also have in paint here, we have expand, and of course delete. Now with this one, let's focus on in-paint, because this is also a new feature. If I click on this one right there, 
you can select the size of your brush. And now with this one, I'm gonna color her hair. Make sure everything is highlighted here because I'm trying to change the color of the hair of this woman. Now take note guys, the limit here would be actually by your own perspective, by your own skill set. If you want to paint her clothes, or your, any of your character's subjects' clothes or the works, you can do so. Change the color, and perfectly right there, everything is set, right? Now what if, I'm gonna type in here, red hair. And that being said, I'm gonna click on submit now, and I'll see you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Now this is gonna be a red hair uh, woman right now. This is gonna be the comparison from earlier, and this is the new one. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's try the next model now as promised, will be the main topic of this video would be Fluxnell. Notice guys, just a disclaimer, you really cannot use image reference yet on Fluxnell. It doesn't have that option, not unlike the Piccolumen, you can attach any images you want. For Flux, we can only use Prompt. Speaking of a Prompt, I'm gonna go to a website, I'll see you once in there. So welcome back to the video, we're gonna talk about Flux Prompt Generator under Hugging Face. Now with this one, it's gonna be a basic prompt. For example, I'm gonna type in here a woman in a pirate ship, something like that. For the subject, that will be optional. Gender is right here. You can disable or random your options. For the art form, I think for the photo, I'm gonna go for front view. For the art form with this one, I'm gonna go for photography. Character details with this one, body types. You can choose them with this one, but I'm gonna make it as default. However, for hairstyle, I think I'm gonna choose with this one, side part by right, that one, and style artist right here, I'm gonna disable. Now I'm gonna go for default, I think I'm satisfied with this one. Simply click on generate perm right there. Now welcome back to the video. So again guys, you should click this one, not this one right here. This would be a large scale model. Now you will be your own choosing, if you wanna generate this one right there, you can copy it, or this simple one. Just simply click on this one right there and you'll be good to go. Now, if you really want to go for this one, please do so. I'm going to copy this, paste it on my notepad. So I have two samples, one for that one and one for this one. Let's just use both, right? Now, welcome back to the video. As promised, I'm going to use this one right there. I'm going to go for, let's just go for two. Click on generate and use the next prompt or the next one. A much more basic prompt right here. Paste it right here and I'll see you once they're both here. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be the first prompt, the much more intimidated or rather much more defined prompt right there. And the first and second one, the most basic one, is going to be this one right here. Now I have an idea. How about we try one of the prompts, which is going to be this one, and try it on Mid Journey so we can compare. I'm just going to open my Mid Journey. I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. So I'm just going to basically paste the prompt there without doing anything. Click on Enter. And then one more. I think I still have one more prompt, right? Which is going to be the much more basic one with this one. Click on enter. I'll see you once it's here. Now, welcome back to the video. Now, this is going to be from Mid Journey. And you'll notice right away that it's a bit more natural lighting, much more cinematic. Comparing it with the one from Piccolumen, which is going to be this one. Let me just place it all together. Now, right one is Piccolumen, much more age and ready looking. Compared with Mid Journey, much more realistic, much more natural lighting. Let's try the next one right here, this woman, and this is going to be a difference also. Right one is from Piclumin, left one is from Mid Journey. You'll notice right away the difference. So for Mid Journey, the paid plan, which is going to be a much more cinematic view. Alright, and basically that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.